So here's the question. Can you actually get Linux running onto a Surface Pro 8? Well, that's what I've got right here. Here is my Surface Pro 8. So this is running Linux Ubuntu. We're gonna show you how to actually download Linux, how to get it onto a USB stick, and then how to actually get it installed onto your Surface Pro. Before we do get into that, we're a tech channel, so we release videos every single week on tech. So if you're not subscribed, and you're probably not, please do subscribe, click on the button on the bell. Oh, and why don't you tell me, why do you want to run Linux on your Surface Pro? I mean, the Surface Pro comes bundled with Windows 10 or Windows 11. It's great, it's a tablet, you can touch on it. So why do you actually want to install Linux onto it? Now, let's talk a little bit. Out of the box, this thing is not gonna play very, very good with Linux at all. And you're probably gonna have a bit of trouble even getting it installed. A Surface Pro is a tablet. And if you can see, I can't actually use the tablet function, the tap on the screen once I've installed Linux. Apart from that, almost everything else does work. I can use a keyboard and mouse attached to it and it works really, really good. Now, this is as of this video. I mean, we're here almost mid 2022. So right now, there are obviously no relevant drivers available for this flavor of Linux, Ubuntu. It just doesn't run exactly the same way as Windows runs on it and all of the same drivers and features. Now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a few things. Firstly, of course, you need your Surface, a USB stick, and of course, you need Linux. Now you can use various flavors of Linux out there, boot it onto that USB stick, plug the USB stick onto here, do some magic, you have to change some settings, and there you have it, and that is Linux running on your Surface Pro. So getting the ISO, you're gonna open up your browser, search for Ubuntu, then click on download Ubuntu, you're gonna download the desktop version, and here it is, download, and then the download should actually start automatically downloading that ISO. Once it's downloaded, we're gonna download Rufus, which is used to create those USB sticks. You're gonna to go to the Rufus website and download the latest Rufus version available. We then install Rufus, should be a very simple installation of Rufus. Plug in a relevant USB drive into the side of the computer, which then will be formatted by Rufus to create your bootable ISO. You then select the ISO that you actually want to be using. In our case, it's gonna be Ubuntu making sure that the settings are similar to what you're seeing right here on my screen. And then we click on start. That USB stick is gonna be completely formatted. That ISO is then gonna be written to that USB, of course, deleting all the data that is sitting on that USB. This will take a little bit of time, but then once it's done, you'll then have a bootable USB stick with Ubuntu, which you can then use to boot your computer into Ubuntu and start the installation. So with your Surface now ready to go, USB stick done, we're gonna shut it down. Now, once it's shut down, you need to get into the BIOS of your Surface. Plug in your USB stick first. Press and hold the volume up while you power the Surface on. Do not let go of that volume up button. Surface should then boot into the UEFI. Select security, and then under secure boot, we wanna turn secure boot off. This will allow other operating systems to also get installed. Boot configuration, we now wanna make sure that USB storage is the primary. So we're gonna go and swipe to the left on that USB storage to actually make it boot from that USB. It'll then boot Linux from that USB. You're presented with the Ubuntu screen and then you press on enter to start the installation. Here it is, we now just follow the simple prompts for install Ubuntu. Now touch may not actually work, so I've got myself a USB hub to actually plug in a keyboard and mouse directly into the side, and then my external keyboard and mouse will actually work and I can continue the installation. Select your Wi-Fi, download some settings if you so need to. You then go and actually erase the hard drive of your Surface. Yes, you're happy to do that. All the data will get removed. Select your region, select relevant username, and a relevant password to actually go and configure it, and then the installation will continue. Installation is completed, your Surface will now reboot, and then you can log in as that brand new user. And here we are, logged into Ubuntu. All done, ready to go. Yes, not all the features work, but I'm gonna say is that not all the features work just yet. Now, I haven't seen it yet, but maybe you've been able to get Linux working and it's working well. It may not be Ubuntu, but a different flavor of Linux on a Surface Pro 8. Yes, I know that earlier versions of the Surface Pros will work fine, but what about the latest one, the version 8? That's the one that we are obviously demoing here, but have you gotten the touch actually working on that Surface Pro. If you have, why don't you let us know below? I want to know. I'm sure other people watching this video want to know as well. Let's share some of that love. But hey, apart from that, we're a tech channel. We release videos every single week on all things tech. So click on the button on the bell. You don't miss out on anything. Stay tuned for the next video where we talk about all things tech. We'll see you next time.